Hello there, it's Chris Partridge here. I'm going to be trying to make a bumblebee nest uh, based on the uh, the online session given by Coy Clayol today. And it's, um, it's relatively straightforward, I think. So what I've got is a little plant pot holder, which is actually going to form the, the roof of the bumblebee nest. I've got some uh, wine corks from lockdown which I've just chopped in half, some stones and those are all going to sit around on top of this plant pot which is going to form the house for the nest. Gonna put a few of the stones on the inside there, and then this plant pot goes on top to form the roof. And then you've probably already noticed some straw here, which has fallen out through the holes of the plant pot, because that is exactly what we're going to use inside of our of our nest. Got a great big load of offcuts of wood from different projects uh, which is going to go on the, the soil and it's going to keep the rest of the nest nice and, and dry so this is just going to all lie on the soil um, in, a, in a shape so that the plant pot uh, can, can fit right over the top of it so that's um, it's quite cool put all these other things back together And the last thing I'm going to use is uh, a bit of old hose pipe, which um, you can see it's not a fab shape, but um, part of it has to come up under the plant pot, and it'll this this gives access uh, for the bees to get inside of the of the nest. So part of it. Uh, is going to be uh, underground. I'm going to bury that. Part of it comes up inside the plant pot and the other bit is above the ground. And obviously if you've got um, an, an, an exit there, uh, some water will get down in there and what you don't want is a load of water to collect within the, the tube. So you have to uh, put some holes in the, the piping where it's going to um, lie on the, the, the ground. So there are multiple multiple ways of, 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 of making the hole. Uh, I've got a, a brad all uh, an old chainsaw file. Um, got this nice little um, uh, sort of screwdriver here. Uh, but the thing that um, I'd much rather use myself is a drill. And the, the reason why I'd rather use a drill myself, uh, you probably, you might not be able to see very easily, in fact you probably can't, I'll show you a picture, is a drill is really great at making very neat holes. And these neat holes lie very, very flat with the pipe. Uh, sometimes uh, you can use some um, other piercing tools and it, it sort of pushes up the piping a little bit. So although you've got a hole in there, the water level can actually build up inside the piping until it reaches the, the the top of the hole and then sometimes the surface tension of the water makes it very difficult for it to empty but um, hopefully this way around if you if you drill some holes through the piping uh, you won't get that problem so um, I've held the pipe like that and I've just marked off where I want the holes to be and I'm gonna drill down through the hole so I can do one now and I'll do some of the others off off camera there we go seven holes 
So I found a little quiet spot in the garden which doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight. That was the instructions we were given. And I've just dug a very small channel with a, a little trowel where the the pipe is, is going to lie. So I'll I'll just put a very Will you bury that little bit of pipe? Oh, you can hardly know it was there now, I guess. So the holes in the pipe uh, will drain down into the into the soil and you can see where the pipe there is, is coming out the, 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 the ground. And then you can see I've got my <coughs> mixture of hay and straw but it could be moss in there. Um, we're advised not to put any sort of cotton wool the, the little fibres of the cotton wool can clog up the, the bees' wings, which obviously we don't want to do. I actually took all this from uh, the, the rabbit's hutch when they weren't looking this morning, a bit from their bedroom and a bit from an area they just like to hang around. But um, we were told that um, they, they quite like using mice nests and they follow the trail of mouse urine. Um, so I don't think there's anything like that in here. A bit of rabbit way, I don't think so. But um, so it's relatively loose in there. <laughs> All I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on top of there because any pieces that are stopping it from going on top, like this one here, I'll take it out so you can see that um, it fits quite nicely there. And we were then told to put a little bit of soil so i'm gonna again i'm using the the trowel i'm just gonna seal a little bit around the base of the pot bells around around here I think hopefully I'm not gonna have any negative impact on them so a little bit of soil all the way around the, um, our little bee house bee nest and then just put a few stones on top of the plant pots because you, you want to have a little bit of an air gap uh, for your your roof but you don't want it to wobble too much so i found it did it, it wobbled a little bit so um my my stone arranging wasn't that good i guess and that's when i used these little wine corks which i cut cut in half and uh and they fitted really nicely um, on mine. And then I just put the lid straight on top. And it's as it's as easy as that. I guess if you um, if you want to you could put something on top to to, to weigh it down a little bit. A little bit of wood's not very heavy, but never mind. So, over here, you can see the entrance pipe, which is buried under the ground with the holes going down so the water can drain away. It then comes up through the layer of, of, of wood, which keeps the nest dry, 
and then into the hay and straw which is inside of here there's air holes in the top and um, apparently generate a lot of heat um, the air hole has, uh, allows some of that warm air to to escape all oh, the worms are coming out to say hello as well um, and then and then that's it as easy as that so I'll just have to keep an eye on this and see if anything exciting happens over the next couple of years thank you quite very easy